so high. I'm just in a mood today. Uh, I know my vlogs are like mostly positive, but I wanted to talk about something that I wasn't going to share publicly, but then I thought, why not? I mean, this is a vlog. If this isn't about sharing what the heck's going on, I don't know what is. I posted a plan with me on Sunday. I'll link the video wherever it goes. And today, if you guys watch the video, you will know that today was the peer-to-peer -peer meeting for knowing if I can have the surgery to fix my hernia. I don't know anything, by the way. I know lots of YouTubers like end up telling at the very end. I don't know anything. I have no idea. But I'm just feeling like very emotional today, also very anxious and nervous and all of the like just run the gamut. I feel angry, I feel frustrated. I just, I don't know, I just like feel everything and it's just like putting me in a really bad like headspace, you know. Fact is I've been going through lots of stomach problems for a long time. Um, it's only come to like a head about a year ago and I mean I've to be real, I've been feeling like shit for a long time, like years, but I finally decided to do something about it last year and come to find out I have all these problems, which understandably gets me some sort of resolution. But the fact that my insurance company is just being a big a-hole about it is just not helping, <laughs> if you will, and it's just a really small feeling for me to feel like, I guess I don't have the right words, it's just, it makes me feel very, very small and unseen that all of these other people are making healthcare decisions besides myself and my healthcare provider, where an insurance company is making the decisions if I get to have a quality life. That's basically what it comes down to. Because there's nothing else I can do. There's nothing else I can do to fix a hole that is inside of my body that needs surgery. Anyway, um, so yeah. But the peer-to-peer -peer happened today. I won't hear anything for, I don't know, I would assume a few weeks. I, I don't really know. I don't have a good timeline on it. So the surgeon that would potentially be doing the surgery to fix my problem got on the phone with the doctor from Cigna, who is my healthcare provider, um, that initially denied my claims. Like, it's one claim, but there's been two different things that have happened. And anyway, basically this is my last shot for the year. If this doesn't happen, I'm kinda done. There are some other alternatives. First alternative, I could hire a private company to advocate for me. Don't know how much that is or if what, I don't know how that works. Um, also, I could wait until next year and re-fight the insurance company. That can happen. Or I could pay for it myself. And I don't want to do that. That is not something that is in my budget. I looked up the prices of how much it costs to have a hiatal hernia surgery versus the bariatric surgery that I would need to have, like my specific kind. And they're very nominal. Like they they might be give or take like two to three thousand dollars in between. I mean, any surgery is gonna run you like 20 grand no matter what, just for like, the surgeon, the anesthesiologist, and like all the, you know, nursing staff and recovery and, you know, a hospital overnight and like that kind of stuff. I mean, it's, they're pretty on par with each other. It's not like one is 20 grand and the other one's 100,000. I mean, it's, it's pretty nominal. So it's kind of like boils down to the principle of it that like this should really be covered if all of my healthcare providers from even my general practitioner guy, like, if he's telling me I need this, as well as like everybody else I've seen for this, I just don't understand why the insurance company just has to be the way they are. I don't know. And I know some of you work for insurance companies and I get it and I just, I don't know. I, in a way I feel bad for bashing them, but in a way it's like, I understand when people do milk the system and I, I get that, but that's not me and that's not what's going on. Like, you know, 
this is just a total rant, but like, do you think I really want to have surgery? You know what I mean? Like, does the insurance company really think I just want to like randomly just have surgeries just to have surgeries? Like, I mean, I'm sure there are some people out there that just want surgeries. That's just not who I am and what I'm about and all that. But anyway, I don't know. I'm just in a like irritated, like not awesome headspace today. And I'm just like angry and frustrated and like just, ugh. I can feel like the emotions bubbling up and just like anger and just, you know, I just, I don't like it. I don't like feeling this way. And it makes me feel like really, really out of control as well because I don't have any control over the situation anymore. I've done everything I could do. I've gone through the entire bariatric program, passed with flying colors, did everything I was supposed to do. I've gone to every single appointment. I've kept everything in order. I have like a whole planner that is like full of all my healthcare stuff. Like I have done everything that I can do. And at the end of the day, that may not be good enough. And that just really, really sucks. Again, maybe it's positive outcome today, I don't know, but I mean, it's it's past the time that they were supposed to have their appointment, like they were supposed to have their um, peer to peer conversation at 11.30 and it's like four o'clock now. Um, I'm done with work now, but it's just like, I don't know, just, been dealing with it kind of all day of like trying to just work and keep things off my mind but eventually it just kind of creeps up and you just you know I don't know it just doesn't feel good you know so yeah I guess that's where I'm gonna end the vlog I mean I know it's gonna be like a short little vlog of me just bitching the whole time but I don't know I don't have the energy to be positive today you guys I'm sorry but on a positive note, here's da, da Doyle. He's down there. We just went out on a walk. He's actually been really good today, which is alarming because normally he likes to be annoying and all that, but I think he can feel my vibes of I'm just like not into it today and I'm just like, mm, you know. So he's just been chilling and not really being too much of a little, little jerk boy. I know a lot of you guys are like, what? He's totally cute. He's fine. No, he's, he's, he's got his own little issues. He's got his own little puppy issues that, you know, he likes a lot of attention. And today he's not asking for a lot of attention, which is, which is good. Cause I just, I don't have the energy y'all. So anyway, but I'm gonna cut it off here. Thanks for watching. I know this was like, not probably what you signed up for when you started watching this vlog today. <laughs> This is what you get. Sorry about that. Um, but yeah, let's see if we can talk about something like more positive at the end. Oh, tomorrow is going to be really fun. I'm going to take you guys with me to look at some more countertops. So that'll be a good time. Hopefully that'll kind of like boost my mood, like get out of the house and all that. Um, so yeah, that'll be, that'll be a good thing to go out and do. So I'm going to do that in the morning. Like I'll cut... In the morning, I'll start working. I'll like work for an hour or two and then I'll head out to that appointment and then I'll come back. I actually have to go into the office as well and um, pick up a bunch of stuff because the office is kind of on the way back. So I'm gonna do that. And then um, and then I'll come back like home, home and um, yeah, just go from there. So, and then get my day going. Um, yeah, and then I have a happy hour thing tomorrow night for work so I'll probably participate in that because I'll still be a lot of times I'm still not working at the time that they have the happy the happy hours are like 4 30 or something um and I'm not working still so I don't really participate if I'm not still working because usually if I'm not working I'm not like in my office you know what I'm saying I don't know so yeah but that's that's what's going on. I don't know. <sighs> it's like a big sigh kind of a day. So anyway, mm. Mm. big stretch, big stretch. I hope you guys enjoyed the video or just my thoughts on real life and what's going on. But yeah, tomorrow will be more positive, promise. 
and um oh now my battery's flashing so it's really time to go so anyway i will see you guys tomorrow thanks for watching thumbs up subscribe do the comment thing and um i'll see you guys tomorrow bye well folks it's time to kick it old school uh, so you can feel cool <laughs>